Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you a new browser update that I got on my Huawei MatePad Pro uh, and my other Huawei devices that allows you to set your custom search engine. Finally Huawei listened and allows you to set your custom uh, search engine which is a long feature awaited, long time awaited. Uh, by the way, I still have the old web page open here. Uh, we all know who is president by now probably um, anyway the thing that you have to do is just you have to go here tap on uh, settings and then go into search engines and as you can see here I have a Chinese version of the MatePad Pro so all the search engines I had previously were Baidu, Sogu, SM, SO and Tao, Tiao and now I have the option to have a custom one and if I click on this I have to give it a name and then an URL and as you can see here it gives you also a nice little explanation what to do so if you want to add the Google search engine there you have an example uh, as you can see here there's an example which uh, allows you uh, what to search, set for the uh, search in uh, if you want to search for Google but what I want to do is I like DuckDuckGo so I type in DuckDuckGo here and paste in the URL I oops paste in the URL I already copied Anyway, that's not the URL I wanted to. So, okay, I'll show you how, how it goes. Because here we have it, like google.com, we have the search engine. But what if I uh, don't know DuckDuckGo's way? So what I can do is just like go here and uh, DuckDuckGo.com. And what I can do usually is let's type in something like foo here. And what you can see here right now in the title bar is the possibility to see how it worked so as you can see here this is the part that we need the other thing is like some extras that are appended that are not necessary so what i will do right now is just simply uh, mark this and say copy go back to my settings go back to my search engine i click on custom now I type in duck, duck go as name and then I can paste in the URL here and instead of the word foo which was my search term I add this um, percentage s sign which will be replaced with the search term so it's a replacement sign basically for our search term and I click OK now and now I have a new search engine set. As you can see, you cannot add multiple search engines. You can just add one search engine. But I'm happy that they glad that I have the option now to set a default search engine. And you can see I can click on edit to edit it again. But this is cool now because now when I just type in here in my bar at the top, for example, I could uh, search for Huawei P40 Pro Plus hit enter, it will search on DuckDuckGo instead of using one of the Chinese search engines. And the cool thing is I can do the same on my uh, Mate 30 Pro, which is also a Chinese version in this case. I know that the, that the European or that the global versions of the MatePad and the Mate 30 Pro or Mate 40 Pro now and P40 and so on and uh, the lights and also on. Uh, have the possibility to set a search engine that is possibly one that you uh, can use locally like Quant for example or Google and uh, some others but um, yeah let's let's uh, do this here as well and duck duck uh, go at this here uh, duck duck go as you can see for some reason it copied this as well Anyway, and I can edit here as well. And now I have like the possibility to add percentage on S here. Save it. Now I have my DuckDuckGo set up as my default search engine. So if I go back here and you can see I have found a nice little article here about this fruit that uh, I uh, that uh, was picked up here or found here in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, which is very interesting if you want to read about it. Anyway, here you can see a different user interface for phones. Uh, Huawei has two user interfaces. I can go to settings here 
Uh, you can, of course, change the user interface to standard. Uh, then you have this almost the same user interface as the tablet. But I like the classic version a bit more as it places the uh, buttons uh, for tabs switching here. So what I can do is just click on new tab and then just search for uh, Huawei. Mm, oops. Huawei. Why does it not want the space key? Interesting. Uh, made 40. And as you can see, it is like searching on the um, on DuckDuckGo search engine. So I can change my search engine here. A very nice feature. Good that uh, Huawei added this. One thing I really like to uh, emphasize as well is if Huawei would like also do, if they're listening, would be very cool if here on the left, if I would ha have the option to go even on my Chinese device, I would have the option to go uh, setting up the feed and I would have the option not to have like the Chinese news here, but I can send, uh, yeah, set up my own feed, like uh, having the same one that the European version, the global version has. I cannot configure it. I tried it already and the settings you can see you don't have this option in here. It would be very cool if Huawei could add this also for the, uh, yeah, for, for the Chinese uh, version of uh, Huawei uh, to do up. Or what would be also cool is like if I check for update, you can see Huawei Assistant Today app, there's version 21. Would be also very cool if uh, Huawei would have uh, added this um, version to be compatible with the Chinese version. But yeah, uh, I cannot, uh, uh, have everything but this is everything for this little video a small update also for those people who have the chinese version of uh, the huawei devices um, for example the matepad pro or the mate 30 like i have here you have now the possibility to set up to use the huawei browser which is a very good browser and you can uh, use it now with your custom search engine that is everything for this video if you have some tips, some further tips regarding uh, Chinese de Huawei devices, how you can tweak them uh, to make them a bit more um, uh, uh, yeah, friendly to, to, to other uh, services, uh, non-Chinese services, you can uh, write it in the comment section. Um, and uh, of course, uh, some questions as well. I take there as well and answer gladly some questions. Uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.